using the cameras, trying to hack. The things about the whole combat, so you go into like the combat scenario, um, there's like elements where you can look at cameras, obviously, which I've already said. But you can also distract people as well. So you can look at their phones, uh, open up the menu and see, oh, this guy likes cat videos. And then you show him a cat video, he gets distracted and you can walk straight past him, which is actually quite funny. Um, distracting a, a guy in a game with a cat video. And you can you actually hear the sounds in the background of that like, cat sort of meowing or something. So. so some of the main functions of the game, you can actually craft stuff. So you bring up the ore, basically like a weapon wheel. You can then craft these items depending on what items you have in your infantry. So you can craft like blackout stuff. So you get an actual blackout bomb, which actually throws out and all the lights go out in that area, which is really cool to see. You just see all these lights just fade. And I think they come back in about 30 seconds or something. So the lights come back on in around 20, 30 seconds. All come back up again. Um, also got like IED bombs, so big grenades, bang, just does loads of damage. Effects in the game are very, very good. The smoke effects and the sort of explosions and the damage. You basically run like a running function, which is like the, the right trigger or the, the R2 button. You can run around. It's very similar to like Assassin's Creed, but you don't like vault over stuff. So you got to press like circle to vault over stuff, which is, um, it works pretty well. So you can sort of run and press it at the right time. It will vault over something or you can jump up to like a slightly higher.